Welcome back everyone to another episode of Close to Broke. Today, we have another very fun topic to discuss in the world of poker, and I promise you, you don't want to click away from it. Before we get into today's video, I just want to give you guys a massive shout out for the consistent support on these videos. It means more to me than you guys will ever know, and I'll never get tired of telling you that because I think it's important to let your community know when they're going above and beyond, and you guys are doing that right about now. If you guys are new and haven't had a chance, make sure to drop the subscription if you haven't done so already. Cost absolutely nothing. Liking and commenting on today's video also goes a long way. So, as you guys can read from the title and see from the thumbnail, there's two different characters, and there's uh, the poker player I was before this and the poker player became after this. Obviously, making a big change in your poker career is important, I feel like, to go to the next level. The one thing that I never lacked was the intangibles and things that I think you can't teach. I think I'm fairly good at picking up on live tells. It's probably the biggest strength that I have in my game outside of a couple other small things that work well for me. And I think I'm also fairly fearless, which has always worked in my demise and favor, I guess, evenly, where I'm always willing to go for a really big bluff and I've always found myself having the ability to make really big calls. So both those things can help me and hurt me. But again, these are things that I feel like are intangibles and things that you can't really teach. But to piggyback off that, the easiest thing or the easiest answer always to getting better at poker is going to be making the commitment to studying and stuff like that. So Outside of that, which is the obvious and easy answer, I want to talk about something that is kind of all-encompassing and has subgenres within it, and that's confidence. So, confidence. How is that relevant at the poker table, and how is that going to change you and my life? So, it's pretty simple. Confidence is a lot of things. Table presence, table demeanor, how your opponents look at you at the table, your rep on the poker table. I mean, there's so many different ways to look at it. And then also your ability to stay even keel during any situation, whether you're bluffing or value betting. It's nice to feel confident in the decisions that you're making. Granted, it's a little easier to feel confident when you know the decision you're doing is absolutely correct with good studying and very solid fundamental play in poker. It's easier to feel that way. But Assuming you've already got those things, you know, tightened down and you end up at a poker table with a lot of other really strong players, there was a lot of times where I found myself sitting there and feeling like I was just dead meat. Like these people were just absolutely going to smoke me. And there was even times where I'd text my friend and be like, man, these guys are killing me. Friend would look over at the table that I'm at and be like, dude, that guy's an absolute duster. What are you talking about, brother? My biggest goal this year and moving forward was always going to be finding the confidence again. And it's easy to lose that when you're on a big losing streak because we so often tie our confidence and our success to our success. It's hard to be confident all the time when you're going out there, when you're just getting beat up and beat up. I remember when I used to play poker and I was probably at the best I ever was, I used to think like, I'm just going to go pick up my money today. And I kind of lost that over a period where now I'm like dreading it like, oh, fuck, I hope I win today. And that's just not the attitude you need to have. Being pessimistic is a problem and overly optimistic is never better. But somewhere in the middle, not cockiness, confidence is key. Understanding that what you're doing and anything that you're doing is the right decision. Even if it may not be sometimes, just being confident and having that ability to be like, I'm doing this shit, I'm owning it, is really something that I think can go a long way. So that's pretty much going to wrap it up for today's video. Trying to keep it really short and trying to stay fairly candid. At this specific moment in my poker career, I'm going to be honest with y'all. I have lost a lot of confidence. It doesn't help that uh, we've been losing a little bit and we haven't felt a really nice juicy win or a nice poker tournament score in a little while. Those things also all hurt. But the one thing that is very true is that we just haven't had the time to put the hours in at the table this year. With the businesses where they're at and then obviously with my time being now chopped up in a bunch of places like uh, obviously the gym and that type of stuff and then obviously the golf pit that I got going on it's a little tougher to pull myself aside to get in there for a poker tournament or some cash game so 
Going to do my very best on the second half of this year to make up for it. But I wanted to put it out there. wanted to put it in the universe, as people always say, and just trying to be more confident. There's a bunch of work that I need to get to get my fundamentals right. There's a bunch of work that I can make studying the game. But I think once I get those things right, which I think are pretty easy fixes, the next big thing is getting all this checked up. You know what I mean? Staying there, staying confident, being mentally aware of my surroundings and the game that I'm in. These are all things that can go a really long way in helping even if not on the exact moment you can see the EV being printed, it's something that I know when this gets situated, when this is all checked out, when this is locked in, I can be a pretty scary player and I promise you can as well. But until next time, you folks have a wonderful day. Stay happy, stay healthy, more importantly, run good at the tables, y'all. Deuces.